Hey everyone, this one's coming to you from Brighton in Victoria. My first time here, it's absolutely fantastic so far. This is my final kind of tiny shakeout. I'm here for um, Hell's Cauldron, which is an inaugural race. It's about 85 kilometers with 4,800 meters vert gain. I think it's about 1,600 flights of stairs, except it's gonna be scrambly and rocky and all the rest. So it should be awesome. Got all my mandatory gear. It's the most gear I've ever packed in my life. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get into my little running vest, I'll be honest. We'll see soon, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna get home and try and pack it all before the mandatory gear check in a few hours. Look, I'm really excited for it. It should be a great, great race and um, Hoping I'll crack a top five, maybe even a top three if I if I run my ass off. Um, by the way, I'm gonna have so much fun. No. race so uh, not sure how far I've run or how long don't have a watch uh, feels like about 10 k's maybe maybe, oh, maybe maybe a bit more maybe 12 or 13 um, and about two hours I think we're close enough loving every minute of it so far done a lot of the climbing I think I've already done about a kilometer of it uh, so a lot of hiking with holes but Hopefully the next bit becomes a bit more runnable. Just trying to make sure I don't lose a track. Currently in first place, but I think the old guys, the better runners are just waiting their time, waiting for my young legs to tire. Oh. Sorry, that was a junction there. I'm hoping I'm taking the right path. What are you? An idiot sandwich, an idiot sandwich, an idiot sandwich. So um, I'm very fucking shitty with myself. I think I built about a five to 10 minute lead on, uh, on second and third, and then I, I missed a turn. Um, ran two kilometers past the turn off to the next turn off. Saw that sign, went, shit, that's not where I'm supposed to be. 
uh, had to turn around, run all the way back. I think they're now about 10, 15 minutes in front, so I'm not sure what that means for the race. Obviously, it's not good. Um, me and Dale have run four kilometers further than everyone else. I mean, 85 k's is a long race. Uh, it's going to be a long day. I think I was talking to Cam, who was, who's coming in second, as we were climbing up the big climb, and he's reckoning that 12 to 14 hours as a, as a base mark. So, you know, so it's a long time. Like, we're only three hours in. There's plenty of time to make it up. I'll just keep plodding forward. I think I'm coming fourth now, maybe fifth. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, I guess, at the end of the day. But I'm definitely hunting for that top three. Uh, I think... I think next I have to catch Jin, who is good at this technical stuff I'm going through at the moment, but call out to you Jin, once we hit the fire trails, I'm on your ass buddy, I'm taking, I'm taking you down, and then I'll reel in the other two slightly if I got the legs for it. So I just came down from the, uh, from one of the, probably the steepest spur that we've got. Uh, fuck. It's like 600 meters descent, I reckon, in about a K or a two. Oh my God, like, it's just cooked. Every, every step down is so steep. Every step down just feels like a, like a sledgehammer on your quads. I got to the bottom and like, my calves and quads just erupted. Um, so, made 25 k's in, good signs. I uh, just keep plodding ahead, got, got fire trail for a bit. So, um, well, it's very runnable. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Only time will tell. Just passed a pair of hikers. Um, they said, Jin's only three minutes ahead. I'm coming for you, baby. And uh, first place is only 10 minutes. Let's put a big smile on my face. I was feeling a bit down thinking I'd never catch him. take his soul. He's just up there, about a hundred meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much more than like when you're just doing the, doing the switchbacks up from the mine. That's just like, fuck this.
and do we cut down to the car park? Oh, okay, at the summit. Yeah. Hey, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, come here. Yeah. Hey, Faye. Hey, there, brother. Keep it up. Race you to the finish. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Status update for the fans. Uh, Ginny, how far do you reckon we've gone? Almost 50 now. Almost 50? Yeah. And about seven and a half hours? Yeah. All right. Um, I'll be Gin. He's doing it all shit, all right? This will be cramping. Yeah, just take it easy. Ginny's cramping. But he is fucking running phenomenally. We're second and third at the moment, which is good. Uh, Dan, who's fourth, is we, we ran with him for ages. He's a bit behind. Um, Cam's way ahead, so no chance of first today. Uh, we're just working together as a team, which has been really good. And now, now on the single track, which is probably the most spectacular part of it, as you can see. And um, and we've got about an hour until the rain kicks in, maybe less now. The wind's really picking up. Should be awesome. Hopefully we get some sick views if we actually can see anything through the through the storm clouds. Well. Uh, I don't know, am I thinking? Might stop at 42, I don't know. No, 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 God! No, God, please, no, no! I'll see you, what's at the, uh... Maybe about 60 k's in, not sure. 60 k's on the map, which means 63, 64 for me. Dropped in, but he was just dealing with some temporary cramping stuff. Uh, I think he's only a minute or two behind. So I look forward to look forward to him catching up to me on the big technical single track climb that's, that's coming up ahead. And that'll kind of be the last one for the day. It's the hardest. Um, it's gonna be so steep. My legs are already shot. Um, dehydrated, uh, cramping. Yeah, but it'll be good. And look, hopefully, the weather's looking all right so far. So hopefully the rain actually stays away. We get some beautiful views up on the Razorback. But yeah, just gotta kind of hold it together for the next five Ks. Um, I grew up on the fire trail, so this stuff is where I press my advantage. update it was two hours ago I'm still climbing I am um, I can't even put into words how much this hurt
not sure again, but I think I've probably done about 12 hours um, and probably about 65 k's. Hang on. So making pretty good time, still in second place. Um, keep looking over my shoulder, but I think I probably got like at least at least two minutes on gin, hopefully three to five. And hopefully that'll be enough to keep him off as I come into the finish line. I'm running along the Razorback right now, which I'm so happy the rain hasn't come, knock wood. Um, but God damn it. It's hard to describe how amazing it is down here. Just had my uh, second and final aid station. 15 k's to go, pretty much all downhill. Um, believe it or not, first place is only about five minutes ahead of me. So, uh, what could it be? I do, I don't think I'll catch him, but I'll do my best. The chase is on. Been running for a while, but haven't even seen Cameron, so, and I do remember that he was quite fast down the hill, so I don't reckon I'll catch him. New goal is just to keep Jin off. I'm not sure how far ahead I am, so I'm just gonna assume that he's right behind me, and um, that crazy fucker runs down these mountains about three times as fast as I do. It's gonna make sure I don't break an ankle or crack my forehead, but you can see it's an absolute cord buster, this. It doesn't stop if you are, let go for one second, you're going to go falling all the way down. I'm not sure if I'm on the right trail. It seems to keep going the wrong way. I don't know. I don't know other shoot-offs on the map, so you just got to and I didn't see any shoot-offs whilst running, so might have cooked that one. Another lesson in navigation, but I'll keep running because it's clearly a trail and it's got to go somewhere. I think I found the path again, and if I'm right, then there's less than half a K to go. I bloody hope I'm right, otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do. 
So I'll keep you posted.